nature is divine. I know people are going to construct nature as this unnatural, disgusting thing, but that's because the left and liberals and postmodernists and just deconstructionists in general have attributed nature as this nihilistic, essentially materialistic thing, or anti-materialist in some ways, that really doesn't give a shit. Which is somewhat, somewhat of a distortion of something that really is interesting. Because nature has provided us with, just pure nature, rules of the jungle has provided us with heroes to look up to. It has provided us with essentially, even within us, our genetic code, people that we can essentially see as great, as noble. And of course, if you subscribe to the Out of Africa theory, how are you going to accept that, really? But even within the confines of Africa, there is a lot of nobility. And it's up to us to showcase it. Nature has a lot in store. There's mathematical resonance within all of it. And since I don't want to sound like an esoteric douchebag, I'm probably going to stop it right there when it comes to that. But really, there is a lot to look into in regards to nature. It's not all just people in prairies or fucking tribes that don't give a fuck. There's a lot to look forward to in nature. I'm going to try to find an analogy that kind of a deconstruction of nature. Some type of something the left will use to describe and portray nature as a materialistic thing. <clears throat> I'm still eating. I'm still fucking eating. I guess out of Africa epitomizes it. I guess portraying the ancient Aryans as genocidal monsters is one of them. Portraying Neanderthals as fucking monsters in of themselves, that's alright. Portraying primitivism as either complete brutalism or egalitarian LGBTism. Ironically, real egalitarianism is nothing like the egalitarianism that we preach in mainstream media, Tumblr postmodernism, university, Marxism, or things of that sense. So this is Mr. Wonka 7 and respect the king.